Hello everyone, have a nice day. Today we are going to solve again another puzzle in our lesson. So this time we will solve problem in grade 3. Okay, grade 3, are you ready now? So let's start our work today. This is for grade 3. Lesson number seven. So, Teacher Debbie will solve random puzzle in lesson number seven. Maybe three, three puzzle. And then the rest, I will leave it to you to solve and enjoy. Okay? Are you ready now? Your computer is set. And then your, you sign in already in our class. Okay, let's start. So, this time, as what I have said, we will be solving random puzzle in uh, lesson number seven so lesson number seven is all about loops in ice age so let's start with practice number four okay so this is our work for today uh about ice age okay and then this is lesson seven so we will be solving uh, lesson uh, practice four practice eight and 12 okay so let's start so in, if you start solving your coding begin with reading your instructions so to start with we will start our instruction instruction says can you get to the acorn with just one move forward black Try using the loop. So in our previous lesson, if you still remember, we are using loops, right? If our if the action is repetitive, all we need to do is to use the loop. Okay. So for now, when you count the number of blocks from here in the scratch, so one, two, three, four, five. But we need only to use one move forward we need to use uh, three blocks so start with the loop repeat how many times five that's correct five and then move forward so if you can see in our workspace and blocks is equal three by three right and we have only move forward one as the instruction given so let's try to run Okay, so that is how to solve our puzzle number four. Okay, so I will leave it to you, puzzle, uh, practice number five, six, seven, and we will jump to number eight. Okay, number eight. Okay, start over. Okay, so we will start over. Now, here it's given already our, uh, what you call that one, our codes. But our instructions, it says, can you fix this code? Meaning to say that this code have an error or has an error. So how can we check? which code is wrong and we will delete and change it so remember the scratch will move here forward and then forward here next here and this one to get the acorn so we will we will check first this loop three one two three correct move forward correct turn left correct right this one is correct next let's go to number two on this way so three times one two three four five should be five not three right so we will change this one to 
5. Okay? Did you see now the error? Okay. So this one. So we change to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Move forward. After you move forward, next is to turn left. On this side, 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct. This one is correct. Turn left. Next is 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct. So only this second code is wrong. Did you see it? Because this one is given by 3, but this one is, should be 5. Okay, let's try to run. You can see, it's correct, right? Turn left. Last one, one, two, three, and four. And it's all done. So that is how to solve lesson, a puzzle, or practice number eight. Okay? So I will leave it to you, another three puzzle in this lesson. So lesson seven, eight, and nine. Uh, uh, sorry, it's nine, ten, eleven. So you will solve it. And then we will jump to number 12 okay so this is now number 12 instruction get to the acorn any way you can meaning to say we can use infinity blocks as many as you want you can use okay but if you want to use loops it's better okay let's try to use the loop first so you count one, two, three, four, five. So this is five times move forward. Okay, can you follow? Next, when you are here, you need to turn left. Do not be confused about your direction. This one is your left. I am facing the camera, right? And this one is your right. So turn left here. So another loop. One, two, three, four, five. So five and then move forward let's try using the loop four five turn left one two three four five okay so that is how to solve our uh, puzzle practice number 12 if you want to use uh, move forward five times, one move forward, two, three, four, you can. But it's better to use the looping. Okay? So again, we will look the replay. Okay? So that is how to solve our uh, puzzle number 12. Congratulations, you complete loops with eyes age okay so for those who are first time in our channel please don't forget to subscribe for the next video and then for those who are subscribed already don't forget to share with your friends like our videos and you can write your comments if you need something if you need some help you can write okay this is teacher debbie in our debbie june 101 tutorial till next time see ya have a nice day everyone and god bless